Welcome to Techie Life. Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, Diego Tiki Life here. Uh, so, I got a little a little hack here, or I mean, I guess if you call it a hack. As you can see here, I have uh, my laptop here. So the HP laptop here. And if you see those little humps here, I we want to I want to talk about processor on this uh, computer. Um, so. I'm running a Cinebench test, which is basically a benchmark uh, that measures how fast my my processor is going. And if you notice, uh, you see how the pattern is. It's going up and down, up and down, up and down. And then you also see here, we hit 2.79 gigahertz, and all of a sudden, we drop down to 1.1947 percent utilization. All right. So I did switch out this, uh, this processor out a while back. Um, but for whatever reason, I mean, I couldn't figure out why it wouldn't stay at 100% until we do this here. So first things first, we can you can put here uh, power. Uh, let's see, we go choose or edit a power plant. Let's go to edit here. So here we have that uh, control panel that shows uh, you know what your power settings and whatnot. Um, so we're going to go to change advanced power settings. Um, we have two different modes here. We have HP recommended and power save which is active. Now um, I guess by default power save was, was active here. Um, I can actually go into power save because that's the one that's active and we can drop down. Let me zoom in here. Where it says processor power management. Uh, let's look into here. So we have here minimum processor state. So it's requiring for it to be at least 5%. System cooling policy and then maximum processor state. So uh, the maximum says specify the maximum performance state of your processor in percentage 100%, uh, which is fine. But check this out here system cooling policy. So on battery, it's going to be passive. And on when we're plugged in, it's going to be passive. So when we hover over here, it says uh, slow the processor before increasing the fan speed. Uh, I mean, this isn't really a passive uh, uh, device, so we got a fan in there. We're gonna push active on both ends. Or I can leave, or you know, for plug-in we can do active. On battery we can do passive or whatnot. But here we're gonna apply it here, apply these settings, and we're gonna push OK. And then we should we should be on the new the new one already and if you can see here we kind of stopped a little up and down up and down thing and now we're at 100 percent at 2.79 gigahertz and it's going now now of course the only thing about this is that your temperatures will go up on, on your processor uh, but it's only because I'm running the, the, the benchmark here the benchmark is a, is a very rigorous test but other than that we will have a better uh, experience overall if we have a hundred percent out of the CPU available instead of the 47 percent or the 1.19 gigahertz so and now these things are loading up very quick versus uh, before they weren't really loading up that fast so I thought I'd just let y'all know you know if y'all having issues with it all right guys till next time techie life out Later.